Hey everybody. Okay, so today's video I've kind of had a lot of requests for. It's uh, the memorial flower bead video that I said I was going to make in my wax flower preservation video. And um, I haven't gotten around to doing it because um, it got to be a little bit much the death and funeral and mom being gone thing and I just kind of needed a distraction and not to maybe be dealing with it so much and so um right now it's August 15th and mom passed on May 20th so August 20th will be three months since uh she passed and usually in my life uh three months goes by pretty stinking fast and these three months feel like it's been a year. It's been the longest three months of my life. And it's pretty much stunk. And so um, I think I'm in a place now where I'm okay to do this and deal with it. In the beginning, I was kind of going off of adrenaline and staying busy. And then when there wasn't much to keep me busy anymore, I think that that's when it really hit me hard. And so, um, I want to do this video for you, um, because I think it's a great video and I've had a lot of requests for it. And so, um, yeah, so let's do this. Let me show you what all you need for this or what I am using. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how I hung my flowers and, uh, where I hung the majority of my mom's memorial flowers to dry out and I had chosen my laundry room because um, there is no swamp cooler vent in here so I could keep the door closed in here and the moisture wouldn't be um, as high. The humidity level wouldn't be as high in the laundry room as it is in the rest of the house because we do predominantly use our swamp cooler versus our central air in the summertime. And so this is how um, I hung them and I've just kind of left them here for two months and it's almost been three months and about a week since my mom has passed. And um, I just kind of hung them in the bunches that I wanted them in and left them here. And um, the, I mean the yellow roses came out absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think I'm going to put them like maybe in a mason jar with lace or something. And so those were the yellow ones. Here was the white set. Um, and then this purple, these flowers were gorgeous. This was in a set that my dad had sent to the funeral service. And I loved these so much that I just had to keep them. And I'm going to be honest, I think that the drying of the flowers it was definitely my favorite method. That and the beads that I'm gonna show you today. And then these were the red ones. Yeah, so these were the ones that I dried out and definitely wanted to keep. Okay, so these are the flowers that I dried with the intention of putting them in flower beads, making like memorial flower beads out of them. And these were a white carnation. And I did these merely for color. I, like I picked the ones that I really liked the colors in. Um, and those will be the speckles in the beads. And so these pink carnations came out dried out real nice with pretty color. The white roses, um, these were I think a white and purple rose right here I think. And then I had a yellow rose and then these were those sunflower looking ones and you can't really see it on the video but the color came out really nice in them and I also pressed those and in a book and those came out really nice too. And so I got, I think that by far, like I said before, the drying of the flowers 
was my favorite. And then I even had a green carnation that was in there, some daisies. And so, um, yeah, we're going to crumble those up and put those in uh, the polymer clay. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started doing that, and I'll show you how I'm going to make my memorial beads out of these. And I think with these flowers, the beads that I'm going to make, um, for my brother, I'm going to make him a rosary because he is Catholic and goes to church often with his wife and his daughter. And so I would like to make him beads out of the flowers from mom's memorial for his rosary. I think he'll really like that a lot. And uh, for me, I think I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with my beads, if I'm gonna make a bracelet. But for now, I'm just gonna make the beads and uh, when the time comes and I decide what I wanna do with them, I'll have them. So let me show you how I'm gonna make the beads and um, Maybe you'll like this idea too, and you'll make some beads out of your memorial flowers or even wedding flowers or birthday flowers from a special occasion. I'm going to use wax paper uh, to roll the clay on, but you also need um, what I've gone and bought is the polymer clay. And I bought the soft because if you don't buy the soft, it is really stinking hard to work with. And the soft is already hard enough to work with, but if you get the air dry or the extra soft clay, I've noticed that they just don't make great beads. Like the, the quality of the beads aren't very good and they were kind of falling apart. And so I really like the oven baked ones the best. And so if you can handle working with this clay and maybe having sore fingers afterwards, this clay makes great beads. And so I am by no means a professional bead maker. I am doing this by hand. I'm not using any special tools to make these beads. Um, I didn't wanna put a lot of money into buying the stuff I needed to make the beads. And um, I honestly think that handmade beads look nicer. I like them. I think that there's just kind of character added to them when they're not just these perfectly round beads you know as much as i try to make them perfectly round they're not and i like the way every bead looks different and so um to me that makes it you know better and gives it more character so today these are the two colors that i'm going to be using for the beads um you want to have some kind of um wire um 20 gauge 16, 18, um, I'm gonna use 20 gauge because I'm gonna use, you only need like a two inch piece of this to put the hole, the holes in your clay before you bake them. So that way after you've baked them, you can string them onto whatever it is you want to string them on. If you don't want to put a hole in them because you're not gonna string them on anything, then just make your beads, you know, any shape, size, color, whatever, but I am putting holes in mine because I know that in the future I'm going to want to do something, either a necklace or a bracelet or anklet. My brother, I'm making him a rosary. So with that being said, a two inch piece of some kind of wire or stick or something, the wire works the best. So these are the flowers that I showed you earlier. Um, that I that I specifically dried out to uh, make the beads out of and I wanted some with color I have a lot more that um, I don't have out right now um, I had already you know practice doing this so when I made the video I, I would at least not be um, completely blind to it but I bought I did the white polymer and there were these really beautiful blue is it gonna focus? Blue filler flowers that I had in a lot of the arrangements. And those are what I put in this white clay. And those are all just the flowers from the memorial. And I really liked the way this looked. And that was my idea behind making these is that all the speckles in it are the flowers from the memorial. And yes, there are people who make rose flower beads and you have to simmer them and blend them every day for like a week. And that's just not something that I could see myself doing or that I even have time to do. And so to me, this was something that 
okay, drying the flowers, I can put this on the back burner for however long and there's no rush to do them. And so this process was much better for me and I actually really like it because these beads are a lot more durable than the rose beads. And although the rose beads are completely made out of that flower, they don't hold up very well. And so I really wanted something that was gonna hold up well. And so this was for me. So, um, yeah, so I think what we'll start off by doing is I'm gonna use the teal. And um, like I said, this stuff isn't the easiest to work with, but if you can manage and tolerate working with it, it really does make uh, as you can see, it kind of just breaks off and it's not super soft. And if you look online and it says to use oil, baby oil, or it says to microwave it, do not do that. I have tried it and tried it. And in my experience, when you put the oil on this, you end up with whatever color clay you have. Like in this case, it would be this aqua color. You have aqua everywhere. It stains your fingers. It stains everything. And it was a hot mess to me. So that was not something I wanted to do. They say to microwave it for a few minutes or a few seconds. And when I did that, it made it harder to work with. It got very hot in specific spots and it dried it out even more and just made it harder to work with. So to me, if you can just power through, you know, mushing it around, it does get softer as you work with it. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So let me zoom in a little bit. So I think what we're going to do is with this aqua, I like these white carnations that um, dried out really nice. And so I think the sizes of the of the petals are good. It'll be easy to break up. So I'm just going to take, break off one, maybe two. We'll break off a second one just in case I need it. And um, we'll start working with the clay and just kind of mushing it around. And it does get softer, I promise you, it does. It's just, as you can see, it's not super easy to work with right now. But this amount of clay right here, just this little piece alone, which was not very much of the block. And I think this block is like $1.98 at Joann's. Um, this will probably make 20 beads right here. And yeah, for my brother, I'm gonna, honestly, see it's already getting softer. For my brother, I'm gonna end up having to do something like 112 beads. So hopefully I'm gonna work on that and maybe I'll have it done by Christmas and it will be a Christmas gift to him. So yeah, so just work this, get it softer, like this piece alone just got super soft. So you just gotta keep working it all. Now I'm gonna take the flowers and I'm gonna pull off just the dried leaves, petals. and. I am going to add that to the clay. And if you need more clay, add more clay. And then just as you're working this clay, just get those flowers in there. I mean, really the best part about the, this project is that, you know, you want your flowers from the memorial, if you're gonna dry them out, you wanna let them dry for a couple months so they're good and dry because even if the outside petals are dry, and I'm not new to drying flowers, 
I love drying flowers. Um, but you just, um, you, even though the outside may be dry, like maybe of a rose, you want to make sure the inside of the bud is dried out. And so um, that can take a couple months to actually do. And if you're like me and you have a swamp cooler in your house, um, it just makes it that much longer till it dries out. Okay, so, you know, you see that I'm working this and this is what, this is what we have so far is just this ball of clay that has the white in it. And um, it's not completely mixed, but you can add if you want more white to it, just keep adding to it and working it through. And you know what I do, honestly, is if I'm watching a movie, I'll sit down and I'll watch the movie and I'll just play with the clay in my hand and work it through so that way I'm not just, you know, completely sitting down focusing just on the clay. I just kind of work it and then before I know it, I've just made the clay a lot softer and mixed in all my flowers. And so, and I want there to be quite a bit of white speckles in this. So I think I've mixed it pretty gosh darn well. It's taken about five minutes maybe to mix this. So there is my ball of aqua clay. So now what we're gonna do is let's grab our wire. And there we have it, our two inch piece of wire is all we really need. So now what we do, it's pretty simple is however big you want your beads, break off that piece and just roll them in whatever shape you want them to be in. And so I'm just gonna make mine round So I have made one, focus in camera, and there it is. Isn't that really, I mean, I really, you can see all the white speckles, which you know are the flowers from your special occasion, whatever color. And so I've made my bead. I'm gonna take my wire and I'm gonna poke it through the middle. And you kind of want to work it around a little bit just so there you go and there's your hole and this hole is I made I chose this size hole because this is the beading wire that I use for rosaries and for jewelry. And so um, it's super thin and this is going to fit nicely right through this. I don't know if you can, there you go. It fits nicely on there. And after it is done baking, it'll be even easier. But once you've done your hole, go ahead and smooth out the, the top of it there because it does kind of fold the edges out and in. And there you have your bead. And you can make as many of those as you'd like. And yeah, just make as many as you want. And if you don't, want to make a necklace or something with it right now maybe just make a bunch of beads and put them in a in a glass container and display them somewhere 
and till you're ready or until you know what you want to do because sometimes I don't know if you're like that sometimes I don't know what I want to do immediately with something that I'm making I just know that I want to do it and that I like it and then I'll do it and then save it for another time when it hits me like oh wow I think I want to do this with it see another bead and it's got the white speckles in it. I totally, I hope you guys like this idea because I love this idea. Um, and even though there is some work involved, the, the clay did get quite a bit softer. And even though there is some work involved, I think that at the end of the day, it's such an awesome idea. And who needs perfect beads, you know? I've got two right here that I'm gonna go bake in a few minutes. And I will bake them. And um, I'll come back to you and show you what it is that uh, I'm gonna do with these or show you what you can do with them. And I think you're gonna like the idea and I bet you anything, it'll pique your interest to wanna make them too because it's a neat idea and it's something you can have with you every day. I think this color, I am definitely going to make a bracelet out of because I absolutely love this color. So I'm gonna make a few more of these and um, I will come back to you after we bake them and it says on here, I'm gonna use just a toaster oven um, on my counter and it says to cook them at uh, 230 degrees for 30 minutes. So um, make sure you watch, uh, watch them inside your toaster oven, especially if you're using a lighter color because they will brown if you cook them too long. So um, I would just set a timer for every five or 10 minutes and keep going in and checking them and kind of roll them around in the pan to make sure that one side doesn't get more cooked than the other. Um, just because you don't want to put all this work into these beads and then have them browning. And so, um, yeah, so I'm gonna make a few more of these and then um, I'll come back and show you what we should do with them. Okay, so real quick, before I stick these in the toaster oven, I just wanted to show you how many beads this made. Uh, just that little chunk of clay that I was working with made 23 beads. And so I think that that's more than enough to make a bracelet with, and there are so many of these beads that just came out really beautiful with the white flowers in them. So I'm gonna go put them in the toaster oven for you know, 20 to 30 minutes and I'm gonna keep a close eye on them and then um, I'll come back and show you what they look like afterwards. Okay, everybody, so it took 30 minutes and these beads did not brown at all. Um, I think you can see all the white in them from the flowers. I quite honestly have to say that these beads out of all the ones I've done, turned out the best and are my favorite. I am honestly, without a doubt, gonna make a bracelet out of these. And so I think that'll be my next video. And it's pretty easy to make a bracelet. And so I'll put in the description box below a link in about a week or so of making a bracelet out of, we'll call these the Memorial Flower Beads. And um, I hope that it inspired you, this video, to do this. I hope you, saw, you liked what you saw and decided that this was something that maybe you wanted to do with flowers that you had from a wedding or a birthday or, sadly, a memorial. And, um, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. And I, I just want to say that if you're watching this video because you have... Uh, just recently lost somebody that is close to you or a family member, I want you to know that in making this video, it was not without a heavy heart that I made this. And like I said, I just recently lost my mom and it's been under three months and it's the hardest thing I've ever gone through. So my thoughts and prayers go out to each and every one of you. 
and um, I hope that this video came in useful to you. So until next time, everybody, please go kiss your loved ones. Have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye for now. Thank you.